Hello guys, in this Visual Studio tutorial, um, we're going to be using C Sharp to create a random dice roller. So like you click a button and it'll give you a random number. So first thing you want to do is create a new project and you want to go to Visual C Sharp Windows, Windows Form Application. And let's name this Dice Program. Enter. Okay, so here we are in the form. This is the uh, visual editor which you can use to add elements so you don't have to hard code them in so yeah um, let me go over here to the text and I'm gonna name this dice and let's create a button so let's uh, make this called roll um, now we could add a text box put it right here and this is the number of sides you want the dice to have so let's name this num or let's write the text rather as number of sides okay so let's say I wrote 6 and I click roll it'll give me a random number between 1 through 6 if I wrote 9 it'll do the same so you know it's just a random number generator let's move this up so let's get a label and we're going to bring the label on here and let's go down to the name and call it number let's go to the font and make it bigger let's make the text zero okay so now let's double click on the roll to go into the code editor and let's type in a we're gonna call we're gonna get the uh, random class and here it is and we're gonna do int we're gonna make a new int call it random number and we're gonna use the uh, next function of the random class so let's do zero to uh, yeah, you want to type in convert dot to int thirty two, and in here we'll have the text box one dot text plus one. Whoops. Because the uh, next function, let's say we wrote, oops, let's say we we had to get a number from zero to five. It's actually going to go from 0 to 4. It won't include the number that you give it, so that's why we have to do plus 1. And so, yeah, here we're converting the text to a number because the text is a string. And you should be good to go. So let's press F. Yeah, forgot to set the uh, text of this label. So we want to go to number dot text equals random number. So, put the semicolon, and we have to convert this into a string. So, what we do is we go here, and then we do convert dot to string parenthesis parenthesis, and we run it. So, let's say we had seven. It'll give us every time we click it, it'll give us a random number from zero through seven. Um, we could, you know change this to one yeah I think one would be better so let's type in the number six because just like a regular dice I click it it gave me six six so yeah you can see it gives you a random number thank you for watching and this was a very very basic tutorial and I will be creating more advanced tutorials in the future thank you for watching and have a good day